In today's news, BVI joins regional earthquake and tsunami exercises. BVI updates on COVID-19 vaccine drive at a regional meeting. New HM Customs vessel searcher to enhance BVI's border protection. BVI stakeholders attend Sea Trade Cruise Virtual Expedition Experience. Copper says AstraZeneca vaccine in the Caribbean different from the batch in Europe. And controversy surrounding the AstraZeneca vaccine continues as 10 European countries suspend vaccines. However, who says backs uh, continuation of the shot after suspensions over safety issues? We continue with all these and so much more after a word from our sponsors. You're watching 284 News. Welcome, everybody. It's Monday, March 15th, 2020, the beginning of another amazing week. I'm Ron Grant, and you're watching 284 News out of Tortola in the British Virgin Islands. Thank you so much for joining us. A happy Monday to each and every one of you. Beginning on the local scene here in the British Virgin Islands, the Virgin Islands joined nearly 400,000 residents of the Caribbean and Latin America last week on March 11th, 2021, to participate in Carib Wave, the annual tsunami preparedness exercise. Schools, businesses, families, and government agencies from around the territory practice earthquake and tsunami safety response of drop, cover, and hold, and evacuating to higher ground. The Department of Disaster Management Acting Director Mr. Jason Penn said he was pleased that so many persons joined the exercise and the private sector and the public se service both participated. In an official comment, he said, and I quote, I am especially grateful that His Excellency the Governor John J. Ranking and Premier and Minister of Finance the Honorable Andrew A. Foy acknowledge the importance of these types of exercises by participating alongside their staff. He continued, I am pleased that the other government officials, including the deputy governor, senior managers, heads of departments, and even executives within the private sector all participated to set an example that I am very much hopeful would be followed in case of an actual emergency. Now, the director said that the exercise also saw DDM officers standing up the National Emergency Operations Center as its designated alternate location in the territory's 911 call center. One of our departments, he said, objectives was to exercise, exercise the physical setup of the alternate EOC location as outlined in the National Disaster Management Plan. The staff moved with efficiency and was able to establish up the EOC in just a few minutes, which allowed us to test communication with many of the participants who were evacuating at the time, Penn said. Now, training manager Ms. Karishma Hicks thanked all participants for doing their part to help the territory be ready for the rare but serious threat of a tsunami. She said, and I quote, We know from previous events that more persons understand about the risk of hazards like tsunami and earthquake impacts. The better prepared they will be to act equally to save lives for themselves and their family members. Ms. Hicks said, adding, practicing safe response techniques helps to identify any needed improvements to emergency plans and procedures. Now, this year's scenario viewers focus on a major earthquake occurring off the coast of Jamaica, triggering a tsunami warning around the region, including the British Virgin Islands. In the event of a tsunami, generation is close proximity to the BVI, evacuating to high ground is within a few minutes and establishing the safety of structures before standing up the NEOC can save lives. Now, all participants who are uh, participate in this uh, exercise are required to share and encouraged to share their feedback back on the exercises with the government's DDM uh, department so that in the future uh, better practices could be tweaked. 
Now, CAV Waves, for those who don't, those who don't know, is a coordinated uh, effort together with the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the Caribbean Regional Emergency Management stakeholders, including Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency and, of course, the Regional National Disaster Management Offices. The purpose of the exercise each year is to advance tsunami preparedness efforts in the Caribbean and adjacent regions. Continuing on, the British Virgin Islands has updated the Association of Caribbean States on the rollout of the government's COVID-19 vaccination program at the Regional Organization's inaugural meeting of the ACS Multi-Stakeholder Task Force on COVID-19 held virtually uh, on recently. Now, Director of the International Affairs Secretariat, Ms. Najan Christopher, represented the territory on behalf of the Minister of Health and Social Development, the Honorable Carvin Malone and told the regional body 15% of our population has been vaccinated. Now, she said that it is anticipated that the territory would have uh, passed about 70% the threshold within the next two months. Ms. Christopher said, and I quote, we have generously received shipments of the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine from the UK government and also from the Commonwealth of Dominica. We are grateful to both. We are also procuring additional doses under the COVAX facility. Minister for Health and Social Development, the Honorable Carvin Malone, while commenting on the BVI's update at the ACS meeting, said he was pleased that the territory's regional partners are now aware of the status of the BVI's COVID-19 vaccination efforts. Malone said, and I quote, our ongoing vaccine rollout will dramatically reduce the health risk posed to the public by the virus. Achieving the 70% vaccination threshold among the population will have a positive effect both socially and economically on the society. Greater health security will improve our economic outlook. And the BVI delegation included Director of the International Affairs Secretariat, Ms. Najan Christopher, Assistant Secretary for External Affairs, Ms. Dunell Davis, Program Officer, Ms. Zyra Wheatley and special envoy to the premier, Mr. Benito Wheatley. Now, the BVI is an associate member of the Association of Caribbean States. We continue to do our best here in the British Virgin Islands viewers as we continue to traverse through the very difficult times of COVID-19, particularly now in the rollout plan of the said vaccines. Viewers still ahead, new HM Customs vessel searcher to enhance the BVI's border protection and Sea Trade Cruise Virtual Expedition Cruising. We have many of our tourism stakeholders here in the British Virgin Islands who attended that event. We have all the details and so much more. After a word from our sponsors, you're watching 284 News. The wind! Oh. What in the hell? I'm freaking out! Is about It's always a pleasure coming to you live and direct from the... What's poppin', what's really good? Davis has won it for the Lakers! Is business slow? Cash flow down? Hosting an upcoming event? We can help. Advertise with 284 Media and take your business or event to the next level by enhancing your present marketing and messaging strategies. Allow our team of experts to create a personalized ad that sets your business apart from all the rest. This could be your business or event. So, what are you waiting for? Contact our marketing team at 284media at cctbbi.com. Advertising with us works. Viewers, welcome back. You're watching 284 News out of the British Virgin Islands. Continuing on on the local scene here in Tortola, Her Majesty's Customs is the recipient of a new vessel to strengthen its capabilities in protecting the borders of the British Virgin Islands. The vessel searcher is said to be a well-outfitted 39-foot gray and black high-speed interceptor Midnight Express and is the fourth of its kind purchased by the government of the Virgin Islands. Premier and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Andrew A. Foy, gave God thanks at the vessel's official dedication and ribbon cutting that took place recently for giving the government the will to be able to purchase a vessel that would allow the members of Her Majesty's Customs to provide continued and exceptional service to the people of the Virgin Islands. The Premier stated that the government continues to build the capacity of the Virgin Islands and continuously strengthen local resources, adding to the physical resources and well as well as training of its staff. Premier Foy also 
noted the importance of His Excellency Governor John J. Ranking being a part of the occasion as they intend to work together in their respective roles in keeping the borders safe. Now, subsequently in his remarks, His Excellency expressed his hopes for the new vessel. Searcher, he said, I wish you well in your searching. The governor continued, I wish that this will be successful for the betterment of everyone of us on these islands. Now, Acting Financial Secretary Mr. Jeremiah Frett, in his remarks, said the sacrifices of the customs officers and law enforcement officers enables the territory of the Virgin Islands to maintain a very comfortable standard of living. Mr. Fred said, and I quote, as these brave officers perform their duties effectively, we must ensure that they are equipped with the necessary resources to succeed. MV Searcher is one of the one of those resources as we celebrate the launching of this fine vessel. She will be an essential tool as we continue to make strides towards building the BVI that we aspire it to be. Commissioner of Customs Wade N. Smith spoke about the growth of the BVI's maritime operations over the past two decades and highlighted the humble beginnings of the maritime operations. He also acknowledged the hard work that has been done to achieve the standard of the department today. Mr. Smith said, and I quote, with the de dedication of this vessel, the territory should be proud, knowing the commitment, dedication, and sacrifices made by the customs team. National security begins and ends at the borders. The commissioner also extended greetings and gratitude to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers who, have pres who were present at the ceremony. He said the officers have worked alongside their BVI counterparts in the fight to keep the borders of the Greater Virgin Islands safe. He said, I welcome our colleagues from the United States Coast Guard and the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency who are part of the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area Task Force and who provide marine and air support during our operations. Following the ceremony, the Premier had the honor of taking Searcher out on the water for its very first sail. HM Customs say they are committed to serving the government and the public with professionalism, fairness and integrity by providing quality service, maximizing the collection of revenue, protecting the territory's borders and of course facilitating legitimate trade efficiency effectively and economically in order to safeguard its well-earned uh, security. The British Virgin Islands Ports Authority, Cyril B. Rumney Tortola Pier Park and British Virgin Islands Tourist Board and Film Commission and local agents attended the Sea Trade Cruise Virtual Expedition Cruising. Now, over the two-day period recently held, members participated in a virtual conference geared towards the expedition cruising industry. Although the British Virgin Islands is not currently an area marketed towards expedition cruising, it is important in changing tourism landscape and particularly in the uh, global pandemic that is COVID-19 to adjust based on the trends and adopt to the new travel environment that pen the pandemic has brought. Now this industry uh, niche resolves around small vessels, luxury cruise yachts, expedition ships and classic sailing uh, schooners where the passenger count is under 250. Sea Trade Cruise Virtual Expedition is part of the portfolio of Sea Trade Cruise Global, the largest global cruise forum that ordinarily takes place in Miami. Last year's face-to-face -face conference was canceled and a virtual forum was created to ensure an opportunity for destinations, ports, cruise lines, and members of the cruise community to source partners, network with peers both new and known, and hear insights from leading industry players. According to the BVI Ports Authority Marketing Director, Mrs. Natasha Chowell, she said, and I quote, maintaining a presence and relationship with the global cruise partners is essential during the COVID-19 pandemic as we need to understand what the resumption of safe cruising will look like for all involved. Mrs. Chowell further stated, it is crucial that we align ourselves with our cruise tourism partners locally, regionally, and internationally to position ourselves for the eventual safe resumption of the industry. Now, Cyril B. Romney Tortola Pier Park's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Vance Lewis, 
indicated that there is so much changing in this industry now and we cannot afford to miss an opportunity to participate in a form such as C-Trade Cruise Virtual. It was a chance to expand both the knowledge base, changing trends and connect with our smaller luxury cruise passengers across the globe. As the British Virgin Islands, uh, especially the tourism sector, continues to make strides and look forward to our seaports being opened, I know uh, this was a well-needed initiative for the BVI uh, Tourist Board as well as the Cyril B. Romney Tortola Pier Park and all other stakeholders. Uh, viewers still ahead, we have some very important uh, stories. As Copra says, AstraZeneca vaccine in the Caribbean that we have received is different from a batch in Europe. And the controversy surrounding the AstraZeneca vaccine continues as 10 European countries have suspended vaccines. However, who backs AstraZeneca shot after suspensions over safety looms? All this and so much more after word from our sponsors. You're watching 284 News. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There's the answer, Cole. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Is about it's always a pleasure coming to you live and direct from the What's Papa? What's really good? Davis has won it for the Lakers! Viewers, welcome back. You're watching 284 News. Now on to some regional news. In a bid to abate emerging concerns across the region, the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARPRA, has said the version and batch of the AstraZeneca vaccine being used in the Caribbean is not the same as the one now temporarily halted in Europe. Some European countries have suspended use of the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Oxford University in England, which we're going to get into after this, following deaths from blood clots illnesses after receiving the vaccine. Denmark was the first to announce suspension, while Italy's pharmaceutical agency on Thursday also ordered a pharmaceutical and ban on a particular batch of the AstraZeneca vaccine after what it said was serious adverse events. Now, Jamaica this week began uh, inoculation of its frontline workers to include health workers and the police after receiving some 50,000 doses as a gift from India. Now, in a release yesterday, Copper said a link between the vaccine and the deaths has not yet been determined, noting that the suspensions are precautionary measures, while a full investigation is conducted into the reports. Adverse reactions that happen following immunization, they said, with any vaccine, need to be fully investigated to rule out various factors, for example, uh, disease, batch assessment, or precautionary illnesses, progression, of any such disease before a final decision is made by health authorities. It continued, it must be noted that the vaccine being used in the Caribbean is not the same version or batch as the core or the one used in Europe. The regional health agency said it will immediately communicate the findings and any recommendations from the World Health Organization to regional and international health partners as soon as the body gains a full understanding of the relationship between the deaths and the vaccine. It said that WHO's Global Advisory Committee on the Vaccine Safety is carefully assessing the current reports on the AstraZeneca vaccine. CARPRA is reassuring members states that its Caribbean regulatory system verifies vaccine with emergency use authorization granted by stringent regulatory authorities of reference. It's encouraging persons who have been vaccinated with any of the COVID-19 vaccines available in their country to report adverse events that occur after vaccination to their local health authorities. Now, viewers, continuing on based on that story that we just uh, uh, concluded, the World Health Organization called for immunization with AstraZeneca uh, COVID-19 vaccine to continue after the 
at least at least 10 countries suspended the use of the shot over the safety concerns. Now, as we all know, an expert group is assessing reports of blood clots in some people who received doses of the inoculation from two batches. WHO officials said recently, unless a clear link is established, there is no reason to stop injections, the group said, echoing the comments of Europeans' drug regulatory. There will be people who've been immunized who will die or of other causes, and so far the preliminary data we've seen doesn't lead to a casual relationship. WHO continued, they said their uh, director of drug assets, vaccines, and pharmaceuticals said at a briefing. Now, the WHO uh, was seeking to assure vaccine recipients after concerns emerged in Austria last weekend when the country stopped using some supplies of the AstraZeneca vaccine as a precautionary measure following a death of the illness among recipients. Now, in rapid succession, Denmark, Italy, and Norway followed suit, pointing to instances of major blood clotting uh, in addition to potentially linked to batches of the product. Thailand and also uh, suspended their AstraZeneca vaccinations. The move threatened uh, to derail Europe's already stuttering vaccine rollout, which trails campaigns in UK and US and could prolong the social and economic pain of the pandemic. They follow complaints from Europe that Austria isn't delivering enough doses, along with age restrictions that many countries put on the shot in January before recently clearing it of all adults. Now, officials in France and Germany who helped spearhead the age restrictions and have recently sought to convince a sometimes skeptical public of the shot's effectiveness are among the AstraZeneca vaccine's biggest supporters. The German Institute that oversees vaccines safety and is in a statement, they said, they have long been reported 11 reports of instances of uh, blood, blood clotting and four deaths from a pool of about 1.2 million who have received the shot in the country. Now, there is no evidence the clotting resulted from the vaccine, leading the Institute to echo the European Medicines Agency position that the benefits of the shot outweigh the risk. German Health Minister Jen Spahn said, in a quote, he takes the concerns very seriously while highlighting the EMA and German Institute's analysis. He said, I regret that some EU countries have stopped inoculating the AstraZeneca vaccine. As it is now a conference in Berlin, uh, he said, most of them have not followed the advice of the relevant authority and the experts. His French counterpart, Oliver Vernon, said late that over 30 people have had clotting issues out of the 5 million who've received the shot across Europe. There's no evidence of the casualties, he added, and no reason to suspend the AstraZeneca vaccine. Separately, the EMA's safety com committee uh, recommended updating the vaccine's safety information to include uh, a, a series of different allergic reactions and uh, hypertensive and behavior and side effects. Now, the agency found that a casual link is probable in at least some instances after reviewing 41 reports of possible um, about 5 million Euro European uh, vaccines. Now, these latest concerns about the AstraZeneca shot come on top of the president's problem with supply in the EU. The British-Swedish company will deliver less than half the planned number of vaccines in the bloc in the second quarter, according to data based on the projections for one member state seen by Bloomberg. Astra warned of a shortfall at last month after production sites, but had it been looking into uh, somewhere else, including the U.S., those efforts have passed and uh, nations have grown increasingly uh, productive as it pertains to persons with knowledge of the situation uh, who don't want to be identified because the supply details are private. Now, spokesperson for Astra declined to comment and a spokesperson for the commission didn't respond to her uh, requests. Now, to be sure, Denmark and other countries aren't claiming a direct link between the Astra vaccine and unwanted side effects. They're calling for more research to be carried out before continuing uh, the administering of the shot. Countries including Italy have only banned uh, supplies that came from a particular production batch. For its part, the AstraZeneca said that the analysis of more than 10 million records have shown no evidence of an increased risk or uh, deep 
uh, death, vein uh, aneurysms, or blood clots in age defiant persons, whether it's uh, gender, batch, or country. In fact, they say they observed a number of these types of events are significantly lower in those vaccinated than would have been expected among the general population. Now, viewers, very important stories coming out of. Um, both the Caribbean, Carpera, and uh, Bloomberg in the UK as we continue to watch as the uh, rollout plans for vaccines, not only here in the BVI, but across the region and U.S. mainline, are met with some uh, skepticism. What we garner from these reports of viewers is that, as it pertains to Europe in particular, not all of these countries are abiding by the age restriction, which could, uh, some say, attribute to the debts that have been seen. So it is important when we observe and analyze the information that even local persons here in the territory uh, who might be aware that they have um, illnesses prior to um, and age restrictions, be sure that they continue to monitor, but also um, abide by the significant regulations that have been set. If you have pre-existing situations or health concerns, uh, and if you are of a certain age, then you know that based on the uh, precautionary measures, you should probably not take the vaccine. It would not be wise in anyone's interest to go ahead at taking the vaccine knowing that they have pre-existing health conditions or uh, their age does not attribute or go along uh, with the vaccine. We're going to, of course, uh, keep you uh, posted on all these stories that come out of the AstraZeneca vaccine, as this is the vaccine that we have been uh, granted here in the territory of the Virgin Islands. And presently, as you know, the rollout here in the BVI continues across the territory uh, with the numbers uh, seemingly increasing. We're going to have a story with you on that, uh, verifying exactly how many persons in the territory of the Virgin Islands have been vaccinated. For some reason, uh, the numbers are not adding up locally, and we're going to uh, look into that story. Uh, but for now, viewers, that's all the time we have. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, for today's news roundup. Be sure to follow us for your daily news updates at tweetformedia.com. And of course, like us on Facebook at tweet for media and at tweet for BVI on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Ron Grant. We'll see you again tomorrow as we deliver your daily dose of local, regional, and international content. We're tweet for news, your source for honest and impartial news right here on tweet for media. Happy Monday, everybody. Have a fantastic week and an even better evening. Bye bye. Yeah. Father Jesus, that learn you along like church souls. Hmm. Alright, do you enjoy the rest of the day? Next customer line, please. Wait, hold on a second. Yes, Sonny Boy, come yes, Sonny. Good morning. Good morning, Sonny Boy. You must have cut fun to people. It's okay, it's okay, I'll take care of it. What? No, no man, take care of me. How may I assist you? Yes. 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 <laughs> you want top of power? Eh? You want top of power? Eh? Join the prepaid party with CCT and enjoy more affordable data plans, more top up promotions, more savings with hero bundles, and more value for your money each and every Tuesday with Top Up Turn Up Tuesday. Visit a CCT store today or anywhere CCT Top Up is sold and top up your phone. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You want Top Up Power? Gentlemen, inspiring gentlemen and our partners that hold us down. It's season two of The Art of a Distinguished Gentleman, taking you on the most inspiring journey with the best and brightest distinguished gentlemen of the BVI. Raw, real-life lessons that translate to grounded, community-minded, well-rounded men like you've never seen them before. Governor Augustus J.U. Jasper, Jovan Klein, Neil Klein, and so much more. Yeah. Turning modern-day men into 21st century distinguished gentlemen with yours truly, Ron Grant, a 284 Media Production.